everyone. Today, well, I'm glad from the woods here. Um, Winterfell camp, but we're not at camp. We are Sunday, uh, September 15th. The weather again is just spectacular, like absolutely wickedly spectacular. Um, I just keep having this hole in my gut, like this spot going, I wish I was in Sabo Beach. I wish I was in Sabo Beach. I'm imagining the campground sitting there all empty with this beautiful weather because they close. Um, although I did find out, interestingly enough, that Sabo Falls Provincial Park, it's an Ontario Provincial Park, is open till October 27th. And it's like, God, I wish I had the money to go up there and spend, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to do three weeks, obviously, again, but uh, wrong time of year. I got to get ready for everything. But and even saying that, I got new glasses. I got to pay like $1,200 for I gotta you know it's get ready with the wood stove I gotta find Selkirk pipe but all this stuff so there's no way I'm going camping to Sabo Beach but boy does it ever make a hole in my guts like god damn it you know like this is such a bummer that you know that the weather is so nice and it's nice there um what this guy's doing is he waving is he stuck think so. I don't know what he's doing there. Jeez, I didn't notice if he was waving like he needed help. He, well, if he did, he would have, because he would, like, I looked at him when I went by, and he's just kind of sitting there, so I'm guessing he's on his cell phone, like, he stopped, and it's like, oh, shit, I gotta check this out. He'd be better off to pull to the side, safety-wise, because you just know somebody's gonna not pay attention to what he's doing there. Anyways, whatever, that's his problem. Um, so, yeah, I'm on my way to Carlton Place for Mom, uh, and myself. I, um, I've decided to make uh, a couple of crock pot meals. It's September, but it's usually colder this time of year. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make some cowboy beans. I used to make those at the campground in Cloyne every year for our uh, Thanksgiving um, potluck at the campground. And that's when the campground officially closed. Um, but uh, obviously, I'm not at that campground anymore, and I won't be at the potluck. So, but I'm gonna make my cowboy beans, which were legendary at that campground. I couldn't make enough of them every time we had a potluck. Every Everybody first thing out of there, yeah, could you make some of those really good cowboy beans? And it's like, yeah. And of course, Norm was alive then, so he wanted them because it had bacon in it, you know, things like he likes. So, anyhow, so I, I got the ingredient list here. I'm going to get the fixings for that, and I'm going to do a uh, proper gumbo with okra and all that as well in the crock pot. So, it's two different meals. Um, and then I can, uh, I've got a bunch of smaller jars that I got for free. Um, you know, like this, they're actually be good for jam. I don't make jam though, but um, anyway, they'll be good for like small little meals. I can put the stuff in there and throw them in the freezer. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm on my way to Carl Place. Plus my, my mom needs some stuff that I couldn't get in birth on, uh, what was it, Friday? And uh, oh God, it's deer apple time. I just noticed all these apples on this one tree. I better, I don't know who's doing what this year, whether anybody's coming to go, coming camping here, not camping, hunting here this year at my place. Um, Cause usually I start feeding the deer about now and then, uh, you know, there's all these nice apples that are just falling off onto the ground. Um, uh, then we call, I call them deer apples. Cause that, you know, you can put them near the feeders and it'll draw the deer in, but I'm not gonna bother if nobody's gonna come hunting this year. I'll just, you know, fuck it whatever you know leave the deer be um i know i've got a dozen on there anyways like well i haven't actually i need to get one because they're really cheap right now uh trail cam i don't need a fancy one where i can see everything live but you know it can, it can record and then i can just walk and you know put it on my phone and check it or whatever but anyways uh i should probably still have around a dozen deer or so i mean unless they've gone elsewhere and got themselves shot or whatever <laughs> but i have this little herd there and uh so nobody hunted last year they were supposed to come kurt and chris and randy but i can't remember i guess it was chris that got sick so they didn't come but uh anyways uh um i'll see what's happening with that but anyhow um yeah so i just saw those uh things so carl blaze i'm talking about that um I just did a video, a uh, political video on uh, a voice from the bush, but it's not like 
because I'm independent. I'm not right or left. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm again. Uh, how do how do I say that? It's not about right versus left anymore. It's about us against the uh, the power, the powers that be or whatever. So that's where I'm at. It's like I don't care who you vote for. <laughs> if you're on the same side, which means us against the rich people who are just squashing us, you know, then you're my friend. Okay. Anyway, I don't I don't live for politics. I used to when I was younger, and then I realized, you know what, this is really stupid. Anyhow, because um, it doesn't matter what we do, it's not going to change anything, or at least very little. Anyhow, not unless you know both countries completely upend both governments, and I mean burn it to the ground and start fresh because it's captured. Anyways, uh, so I was doing that video, and then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do like you know a, a shorter uh, vlog. I'll probably do some later because when I get back, um, I'm going to. Uh, uh, fix up one of the fishing rods that I haven't fixed up yet. I'm gonna load everything into the boat that I need, and we're gonna head down to Robertson Lake today and try some fishing. I was gonna go yesterday, fell asleep, um, but today I'm up and at them, and uh, it's a decent time. It's only 20 after one, so uh, it won't take me. If it takes me two hours, I'd be surprised, and then uh, that'll give me an hour or so to do some stuff, get ready. I brought uh, two gas cans with me. One that I'm going to put the 50 to 1 mix uh, for the boat, and that'll give me about 12 gallons, uh, 10, well, 11, 12 gallons of gas, and uh, for the boat, so that'll be more than enough for today. And then um, I got the little small one, which I'm going to make the 25 to 1 mix for the new uh, weed whipper. So uh, yeah, I got to get some. Uh, two-stroke oil that is specifically for things like the weed whipper you can't use marine uh, marine oil in it like meaning two-stroke marine oil and uh, it's not the same and if you look at the uh, it's 25 to 1 to begin with for this weed whipper and that's because I'm certain of it it's almost 10,000 rpm it's revving out at the top end and I'm like ooh, okay definitely 25 to 1 I guess but um, it has to be that's oil not specifically for that brand of weed whipper it's just small engine two stroke oil so I could I'll be able to get that at Walmart because I am going to Walmart got to go to bulk barn get my mother some salt free pretzels um, I normally have been ordering from Amazon but the company that sells the bags is only selling like three bags at a time it's like a 35 bucks and I'm like Jesus that's way too many pretzels for her all in one shot she won't eat them that fast and they'll get soft over time I don't know but anyways it's 30 five bucks too it's like fuck so anyway I'm gonna go to bulk barn I don't regularly go there but uh, hopefully they'll have her saltless uh, pretzels and I'll be able to get them there I got mom's wheat fins uh, from Amazon delivered yesterday the family size which are like half the price on Amazon I got a bit of coffee uh, some peanut butter for me so but the rest I got to get over here uh, like I say at Carlton place so and I need to go to Walmart I need to go to the pet store because I need to get some food for the cats um, I've been keeping them on the uh, indoor, you know, weight thing because Blackie's getting was getting big. Uh, Wally was as well. Goldie seems to hold her weight no matter what I give her. Uh, she's just, you know, she's her size and that's it. She's not a big cat by any stretch. Um, like her head, if you ever look at Goldie's head as opposed to Blackie's head, I mean, her head's like almost half the size of him. But anyway, Blackie's... You know, he's a big boy. I don't want him to get too fat and then we end up with diabetes, you know, uh, a cat with diabetes and then that's really a bad thing. Um, so, and uh, of course I love my little Blackie the cat. So um, anyway, so I have them on the lighter food. So uh, uh, they seem to like it. What is with this old Elks wagon here? I don't wanna, okay, I'm just gonna go past this guy. Wow, an old bug. That's like a really old bug from the 60s. That's the air-cooled motor, no doubt, and uh, the uh, where you have to put fuel in for the heater separately, I guess. Wow. Anyway, you don't see my those classic, classic car. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll call this the road vlog uh, for today, and then I'll do a separate one for when I get back. Um, I think I've got today's Sunday too. I said I was gonna get the um, the uh, um, blah 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 the um, 
the water the water sprinkler uh, for the back for the for the plants I'm gonna get that set up today and run the sprinkler because it's been a few days there's been no rain and I gave them that really good feeding my new mega crop uh, the stuff that's for blooming showed up Jesus I I kept thinking why are they selling me su such small bags and then I look at the, uh, the, the, the the like on the back of it going well how much you know am I gonna need and it's like oh crap one teaspoon for every six gallons and I'm like oh Christ that's uh, not a whole lot like obviously the stuff is strong so my 60 gallon thing in the back um, well then that would be uh, what did I just say so 10 tablespoon 10 teaspoons which is 50 milliliters so that's really just a couple of couple of tablespoons uh, what did I just say one teaspoon for six gallons so that's 10 teaspoons times five is 50 grams or 50 milliliter whatever that is so then then that's like a tablespoon and a half or 60 gallons so that must be some pretty strong stuff for the blooming so anyway uh, so that's why the package is so small and I've got lots for a long time at that mixture um, oh, check this out I think this is a camper yeah, it is. Look at this. A Unity. Never even heard of it. I want to make sure I'm doing... I don't want to get hit here because 7 is busy. All right, well, I'm not going to run the whole uh, 50 or 15 minutes or whatever. So, anyways, you guys have seen all this before, Highway 7. Um, so, my first stop will be at... Uh, Walmart because Freshco is where I got to buy the frozen stuff for my mom and so what I'll do is I'll do Walmart first and then um, um, what the hell's that cat here Walmart first independent grocer and then Freshco and then I guess that'll be home oh pet food store for the cats 